This is the old place, all right. Hello, Bet. Betty, my love. Hello, Bet. What time do you make it, eh? It's not gone after nine, I shouldn't think. Hello, Bet. Oh, never mind. She can't have gone too far with a door wide open like that and fire in the grate. It's a bit like one of those ghost ships, eh, isn't it? Yes, well. She'll be down directly, and we'll have a nice cup of something hot, and that'll be nice, won't it? So why don't we make ourselves comfortable meanwhile, shall we? You can uh, throw another log in that if you like. It's a bit like bed and breakfast, isn't it? Guest room through there, hot meals cheerfully prepared by the week's widow herself, and uh, the bar. Would, would you like to have a drink, Charlie? See, because the fact is, I never drink alone. Don't want one then. Right. Let's see now. Hmm. Oh, why don't we see how far we've come, right? Uh, last, uh, last, uh. Oh, here we are. London to Atlanta. Picked up that Jeep. 100 miles south on the motorway. And, uh, got off about here, and there's the lake, see? Oh, it's lovely in the daylight, the lake is. You can see it right from that window over there. This is just what you need, Charlie. Just what you need. Your own force of treat. Silent, peaceful life. What do you need? I should have come. Now, now. Oh, don't think me ungrateful, Froggy. I know the enormous trouble you've taken to bring me here. No, no, it was no trouble. You know what I told the Yanks? He's my assistant. And if he don't go, I don't go. One minute later, bingo on the plane together. <laughs> yes, your research assistant. That's a good job. Yes, well, it all depends on my approach. The right approach, that's it. Still, what? I should have stayed with Mary at the hospital. I mean, when a man's wife is dying, he belongs with her and not in, not in Georgia. But only be here three days. Still. Only six <coughs> months. Six months before. Now, now. Doctors have been wrong before. Besides which, Mary wanted you to come here with me, she did. Barely begged you to come here with me. So I agreed. But then I don't know. What? She was worried for you. She was. I could see it in her eyes. Oh, Froggy. I don't think I was worried what you saw in Mary's eyes. Of course it was. Froggy, for someone I see so little, you're, you're such a good friend. I, I'm so bad at, at talking to people, but I, I think you should know. Mary, Mary doesn't like me very much. Now, now. No, 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 the fact is, she finds me boring. Now, why would she think a thing like that, eh? Oh, because I am and I know it. There I've sat behind my little grave proofreader desk for over 27 years now. I've often wondered whether a science fiction magazine even needs a proofreader. Does anyone care whether there's 1K or 2 in Klaku Brava Dicto? <laughs> no, I'm bored, all right. I've often wondered how people acquire personality, what it must be like to tell a funny story, to arouse laughter, anger, respect, to be thought wise. How must it be? Well, you were a good officer. Well, not much of a trick in peace, man. We can't always have wars, you know. You would have faced the enemy fire with the best if you had to. That's something I shall always wonder. Well, don't wonder. And don't wonder about Mary either. Because, well, I don't know her very well. But I know what it looked like, what she was. Now, she had her chances. And she's never cast her eye on some, some other bloke. Now, has she? Hey? Has she? Has she? Now. All right, all right. Yeah, you caught a flirt with some look. Caught a naked eyes with some look, is that it? Yes. And where was it? Shower. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> yes. Oh, right, right. Every marriage has been mistakes. One little mistake, one little dalliance. Now, that's no more reason for you to be in such a More than one. <laughs> More than two. How many then? 
23, now, more or less, and married. Yes, I don't believe it. Quite true, actors, writers, all the glamorous professions you see, criminals, veterinarians. I don't believe it. And did you know? Uh, yes, she flaunted them at me. She wanted me to know. I don't believe it. Well, now, don't you worry about anything, right? I'm gonna go get this key, and I'll give it to you. I'm gonna go talk to my friend Ben, all right? Okay. Now, you, you head up on there, right? I don't want anyone to speak to me. You don't want anyone to speak to you? Yes. Well, why not? I'm not very good at it, you see, but I've tried to talk to people. I just never finish sentences. I just have an active fear of, of talking. Talk, talk, yes, well. Now, lately, even idle conversation terrified me. Just knowing in another second it's going to be my turn again, my turn. To... To talk! Yes. Well, you won't have to worry here, because Betty will do all the talking for both of you. What? Oh, yes. Betty's a regular chatterbox, she is. Good weather, bad weather, out your mom. Oh, God! Oh, and when she's not going on about something, the others will be. You mean stranger now? now? Charlie, they won't be strange long. Why, once you've had one or two of them. Conversation now, Charlie! Please, they don't with you. Charlie, I'm uh, Charlie. I can't do the right thing. I can't breathe, it's a million of them. Sit. You don't want to have to talk to anyone, right? I'll fix it. Huh? I'll fix it. I'll brought you here and I'll make it right. If it's no conversation you want, it's no conversation you'll have. The royal treatment, eh? You know, the bad, hot bath drawn. What do you think? She won't speak to me. I told you. No one will speak to her for the next three days, or she's off in a corporal. They, they won't think me rude. They won't think you're rude. I'll fix it. Uh, it all depends on my approach. It's the right approach, that's it. Let's see now. Now, now, I'll think of something. Now, why don't you run along and, and I'll have a word with Beth, right? Can I help you, miss? No! Lobby! <laughs> oh, you didn't know me! That's all right. I've been wet before. You, you remind me a bit of Malaysia. Well, who's she? <laughs> no, no. It, it's a place. <laughs> oh, look, I brought you something. Look here. No! That's right! You know I love Sue! That's right, I know. <laughs> no, where'd you get this from here? No. I was given that one by the Aborigines of Canada. Ooh. <laughs> yes. And uh, where do you suppose this one's from? Well, I don't know. The Mysterious East. Made in Taiwan. That's right. <laughs> my goodness, Frog, the places you see and the things you see just take my breath away. Well? Oh. Now, this is here. Where is this from? Tijuana. <laughs> Oh, that it is, Beth. That it is. Oh, look! I turned upside down and all the folks come on. <laughs> well, they are a heathen people there. <laughs> I am. This one will have to go in the cupboard, but the others all just leave right back. Hey, ain't you heard it? Not as lovely as you, though. Now. Well, how have you been, Beth? Bad. Now. Every year, guest instructor, the American Army flies me over. I 
Maybe you and the younger group doesn't have stories about the bald squad. And we have a fist sandwich and a fight group and Henry blow up a mountain. And it's not bad, dude. It's not bad, no. I got dangerous bells? No, no. Stays in houses. For a mile away, it goes off, actually. Oh, yes. I'll show you. This is my own device, this. This is the Froggy Fasur portable detonation model. Light, yet efficient. See, off the wire, negative attached to the load, and pressure stand. One less not to worry about. <laughs> Super care of him. 
best of everything, right? Yes. And, uh, oh, I don't know how quite to put this. He mustn't be spoken to. He mustn't be spoken to. Why Uh, ever. Why no? Uh, Is there something wrong with him? Oh, no, no. Perfectly terrific fellow, but you see, the fact is, uh, he doesn't speak any English. No? No, in fact, not a word. Oh? Yes, so, uh, well, well, mind you, I've got my quarters. But if someone here was wishing to see a foreigner, a, a real one, perhaps they would have to bottle it. <laughs> you don't mean to. Yeah, as foreign as the day is long. <laughs> Where is he from? Uh, uh, from? What country? Uh, uh, I, I can't say anymore because my tongue is tied. Oh, he, he ain't here on some sort of special government work, is he? Uh, I won't say yes, and I won't say no. <laughs> well, what's his name? Uh, Charlie. Charlie? Uh, I call him Charlie, but his real name is Charlie. Oh, he ain't Oh, you miss, Daddy. What? Him? No, no. Got a stack of credit cards just sticking his wallet. Oh, good. Yes, Lois. But he mustn't be spoken to. No, Lois. You see, so much as says good morning to him, he hangs his head for days because he feels terrible because he can't reply to what people say. See? Now, Lois, mind you, no talking to him, all right? Now, I best be off, so, um, I don't have a word with Charlie Lee before I go, huh? You know how to speak this kind of talk? Uh, well, uh, the, the odd phrase, really. Uh, you know, where's the gents, my hat is brown, that kind of thing. Oh! Oh, well, uh, that'll be him. So why don't you run along and get him some tea and, uh, I'll have chat with him. Surely, Lowell. Afraid. No, I wasn't afraid either until I saw that old fellow gathering up them animals 
two by two from the oh, oh, yeah. I don't know. You, you must be drunk, Bergen, sir. That's right. I, I'm getting the big lead. Lead? As in uh, Robert E. Yeah. Oh. Any relation? Well, this, he was a great strategist. I know that. Reverend David! That's oh. right. Betty says you might buy this lady. Well, we do love this old marsh, but we hope Betty won't end up having to sell. Well, I know that you'll do right by her. I'm sure we wouldn't quarrel with the price. I'm sure. I'd best be off. Good to meet you, sir. Don't call me, sir. I ain't no bloody officer now. <coughs>
does are just subconscious cries for help or attention. Maybe, but I swear he has never done so many screwy things before in his life. Well, they didn't say behave. Well, why don't we speak with Ella again? Maybe it's just fate. It's better, baby. That is. I hope it is. <coughs> I hope he's not all. What? Well, I was going to say, getting worse. Oh, Lord. What? It's nothing to worry about tonight, anyhow. Well, you're a good man. Might be a few shines tonight. You go on.
on you. I'm really about to get upstairs on you. Dr. Contestant, that Matt Van Boy? Not yet, but I, I think they'll come around. Well, I got some news today. Got back up with you today. Want to see? Sure. Yeah. That's right. Certified by the state office. This place should turn into a real bar. So, how much can Danny ask for right now? Cops around 20000 And it is a bargain, truly. So you're going to buy it then? Since I'm in it. And you be careful so you don't find yourself another buyer. No, Betty will wait until I have the funds that is. So you're going to wait six months? Maybe. But this ain't necessarily permanent, you know. That there brick work out front gets repaired. And you got yourself one expensive little property again. So, just brick work? That's all. She fixes that up. Ain't nothing I can do. Legally. Well, I don't think why. Well, hey, Ellen, how are you doing? You know, Owen, on muscle? Hey. What are you up to? Where's Kay and Bella? She went on upstairs. All right. Hey, Ellen, you can do me a big favor. You want to do me a favor? Yeah. All right, go in the kitchen and in the refrigerator. Grab a carrot and bring it up to Kathy. A carrot? Yeah. <laughs> you know what a carrot is, right? Yeah, I yeah, I know. Of course you do. Can you do that for me then? <laughs> We're a carrot. Yeah, she wanted one, but I'm real busy with all of them. All right. That'd be a big favor. Thank you. Poor oh, boy. What's the matter with you? Oh, no one really knows. You just need a lot of patience. It's getting worse with his daddy now. He ain't getting on his daddy's money, is he? No, not like it. You mean he might? Well, theoretically, he's supposed to receive half the family money. What? But only if Catherine should be him to be intelligent enough. If he's intelligent enough, huh? Yeah. Well, that don't seem to lack in half, does it? No. That's just full of dummies, ain't it? Did he have any trouble with that, Adam? No. All right, can you bring that up to her then? Tell her I'll be there, all right? All right. Thank you.
do hurry. Uh, hello? His staff sergeant and sir there? Charlie Baker. No, it's not the code, it's my name. <laughs> uh, hello, Froggy? Uh, yes, uh, could you come and get me, please? Well, um, no. No, I, I, well, I did decide to not speak English. Uh, well, uh, something happened and, well, I overheard something I really shouldn't have. And it seemed best, but, but Froggy, you don't know what you've done. No, that old woman, but nothing but shout at me. And, uh, others talk about me as if I were a potted palm. <laughs> Screaming girl and her poor husband brother. A thoroughly unpleasant chap began saying the most unpleasant things about my mother. <laughs> yeah, something to the effect that there wasn't enough of her left to spread on toast. <laughs> yes, um, I don't know. No, I shan't tell mother, but still. <laughs> Minister, something very odd is going on with him. What is a Christian hunt club? No, nor I. Yes, I'll hold. Where, better at? Thank you. Yes, he is rather hopeless, I'm afraid. Still, I can't help but feel that he's being a uh, in the club door. Good morning, Charlie. You must be talking to Frog. Hey, Frog! <laughs> I want to hear. Charlie is the sweet thing in the whole wide world. Yeah. Now, what does he like for breakfast? Oh, 
again. That's where he is. Helping him get hauled, make soap, and looking after the dang soap. I just hope he won't mind having to visit his wife in the insane asylum. What would you like for breakfast? I don't want any breakfast.
Jan. Ja, ja. Bartel! Bartel! Gleis! Gleis! Ja, ja. Well, that's all the important stuff in here. You wanna... What do we wanna do now? You... We could go outside, check out the trees and stuff. We don't have to, but we could. Cause since that way, like if you ever wanna ask somebody like where a tree is or something, then you'll wanna know that. Uh-huh. Or cars, or chipmunks, or things at all. All that outdoors and stuff. Or, you know what I could do? I could go outside and bring some stuff in. I just might do that, because since that way, we wouldn't have to go outside of anything, and we'd have everything we need right in here, where we want it, okay? I'm going to do that. <laughs> so you stay here, okay? I'll be right back. No, stay. I'll be right back. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stay. Where are you going? Me and me. I'd really like to talk right now, but I am just real busy, okay? So bye-bye. Section? No? Oh, Lord. Lord, would 
you look at that. Someone's going to burn down the clan headquarters. Can you beat that? Some of boys aren't too happy about that right now, and that is a switch. <coughs> you won't jump that, mister. Those clan boys, if you're not 100% white American Christian, you're liable to find yourself one fine morning flopping around in the Safeway duster. Not a few things. <coughs> And this right here, 
This is a brick. 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 Uh huh. Exactly. What? What is this? Tommy, oh, see you want here too long. Oh, you play that thing? Well, you good? You better go walk and practice somewhere, sir. <laughs> well, what do they surprise us? All right, Charlie. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these things we just learned and I'm gonna mix, mix, mix them up, okay? Okay. Now, no peeking there, okay? Hands up. There you go. Now, here's a tricky one. 
How many little pieces of sand? A zillion. Zillion? Uh-huh. But there's just lots of something. You can just say a zillion. Uh-huh. Oh, I hope y'all were coming back. Here's the dance. You wish now. I ain't. You doing real good though. Just two days work. Thank you. I am happy. Go. Now, how many chairs? Three chairs. Uh huh. How many forks? Two forks. Go. How many grits? A zillion. <laughs> oh, dinner time, huh? Where have y'all been? The courthouse again. Oh, hot time for Susan and Georgia. Going down Washington and build a new courthouse. Charlie wanted us to. How they coming with it? Real good. They let the help today. <laughs> well, they did. Uh-huh. They said I was, you know, real good. <laughs>
trans goose eating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was that last bit then, Charlie? Busco de Bosco. Um, in the little town of Seattle. In <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> Oh, there lived a little old woman. <laughs> and her beautiful daughter, Mara. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Beautiful, but as dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs>
But, <laughs> but, Sebastian Bull, must you be gushing? Uh, yes. <coughs> yeah, you. Well, Ailer, all that from just one hour. Yeah, you. Well, I can't believe that. I know. Remember how long it took me to learn to read? About three years. <laughs> I'll do that. What do you think accounts for that difference in learning time? I don't know. I guess he, he just had a better teacher. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, remarkable. Well, yes, truly remarkable. You know, Charlie, I'm going to have to stop talking to you. Stop? Talk? Well, if you really know what I'm saying, I can't tell you all my secrets now, can I? Oh, I, I stopped her. Oh, Charlie! Oh, no, 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 You go on and learn. Maybe I'll carry on my secrets anyway. Oh, I yes. We'll see. Oh, I yes. We'll see. What mean we'll see? It means yes. We'll see means yes. This time it means yes. In my country, yes is gook. Gook. And how do you say no? Bleep, bleep, go. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, you want some? Go! You will see. Pupil and Betty's a 
Betty's mind-reading harmonica boy. Tusta la pasca. Ida, who's the sword? Tusta la pasca? I comanazzi. I go, who's the crazy? The crazy? Crazy? He eats the pasca, I think so. Do you see that? Shakespeare. Shakespeare, this is me, you see. We're all becoming one, and, and making one another complete and alive, and... Oh, I can't explain it, but I shall miss them. I shall miss them terribly. Well, I suppose it's all right, then. Now, I, I'd better be off. ta, -ta. Frog. I just want to thank you for making me a foreigner. Yes, well, I feel... Dr. Frankenstein, really? Have yourself a lock. <clears throat> yes, Frankenstein. Uh -huh. Bees come down. 
Morning, Jesus. Come down. Doesn't make any sense. I know that. That's why I was bringing it to your attention. All right, Owen. No one talk to me like that. All right, Owen. Like I'm some halfway kid or something. All right, Owen.
fucking blessing. Oh, now, please, David, now, you'll be cool. Hey, Jason, you got Come on, come on. 
Yes, is Catherine Sims up at Betty's place? Listen, Frog, we might be in trouble. There's some men coming up here with guns, and I don't think they said that phone was very well. And if you could just, I don't know, bring it in when you can. And if you see a mean little fellow in a green van, that's Owen Muzzer. Kick a hole in his tie or something. We'll call the police, so if you could just, hello? Hello? Stupid 
playing a stupid croquet mallet? What's that? What's wrong with my croquet mallet? Nothing. I thought it was good. Oh. Well, it sure would give us a chance to find out how brave we all are. Mm, yes. Now, Betty, my kids.
dead. Look at me. I, who have laid in wait below these many centuries for such a night as this. What? I, child Rocker and Mork. I, who the old ones have given suck to rise from the forest mold and smite thee, black blue brother Nimble. Now, don't you start that, I'm warning you. There are a thousand serpents in my bowels, and each one squeals with pleasure. Now, now don't you start that. Don't you start that to the top, Mr. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Anoint these women spawn! Oh, so. 
pick up this and that. I don't quite know how to say this, really. But, well, you see, the point is, if you'd like to stay, it won't make much difference now, will it? Strantia Polista. Salut, Magra. Salut. Charlie, are you all right? Yes, me all right. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, talk to me. Head off, one, two, three, I talk. No, no. Talk to me, Charlie, please. Really. He's... He's had some bad news, I'm afraid. Well, can you tell me, Charlie? Please? In, in English, Charlie. <laughs> oh. oh, Charlie, looks like we both had a loss of today, didn't we? I stay? Yeah, you stay. And you know what? I bet if we work really hard, you wouldn't be talking with an accent anymore. I make it long. Well, we have all the time in the world. Come on, Al. Uh, well, see, that's a difficult thing to discuss, actually. You see, it was his wife. Oh, did she? Did she die? No, no, nothing like that. You see, it was from his wife. You see, um, well, he... You recovered. 